Welcome to part two of our series, The Tesla of Health. And in this video, you're going to discuss the master plan to end death. Let's recap a little bit what happened in the last video. We talked about the unbelievable story of Tesla, how a little company was taken over by Elon, funded all the way to IPO and went from electric vehicles into now full self-driving and transforming the entire world of transportation with AI. And then finally going into humanoid robots and creating an unlimited TAM by replacing and enhancing human labor, a $30 trillion market. If you would have thought that or said that in 2008 or whatever, shortly before IPO of Tesla, everyone would have thought you were nuts. But it's happening. This is an incredible victory. It's the victory of our age of the pioneers, of Elon, but everyone who's with them. That's why I'm so excited about Tesla. I'm not just into cars, everyone is into cars, but I'm into much more than that. I'm much more passionate about health, for example, and medicine, but I also like all kinds of other things. We need blueprints like that to transform everything. That is the idea of these videos that we want to learn from this one big blueprint that is proven to have transformative powers, learn the principles and secrets behind Tesla and apply it to the most important area of human life and civilization, which is our health. Because if we die, we have a problem. So Tesla is very impressive and we can be all admiring Elon and the community and the pioneer capital and what Tesla does. But one reason why people are so enamored with Elon and he has this godlike status is not just because people admire Elon. It's a double whammy. We admire Elon, but we are also deeply frustrated with all the lack of innovation that happens outside Tesla and transportation, like healthcare. We know because of Elon that these things should be possible. Because of Tesla, we see, well, we, you can transform the entire planet in 20 years if you have a master plan and do certain things. Why the heck are we not doing this in areas that are even more important, like healthcare and medicine? And that creates a lot of frustration that people then project into the admiration of Elon because we say at least he does it, at least he does it there. But we know that deep down, we know it should happen everywhere, not just there. And that's why it's so important to learn from it and really start taking some action. And we have to think about, well, Clearly, it's possible here. Now it's proven. It's not even debatable anymore. And all the naysayers get destroyed, all the short sellers, and all the Tesla investors are getting rich. That is enough proof, you know, in my mind, to say, let's do something in healthcare. Let's just transition and learn from these things and apply it here. How do we build the Tesla of health? And in the last video, we went into the three secrets. Why it's not just Elon, the alien, and the magic magician who just makes it all happen, which is he still is, all for Elon. But what is behind that? What are his magic secrets? And we decipher them. We know it's three things. There's a master plan that was true, clear, and simple. There was a community that backed the master plan to this day. That defends Elon, that defends the master plan, it defends Tesla, it destroys Wall Street analysts who don't get it. It destroys them in the media. They school them. It destroys the fake news actually brings us true Tesla insights. That is all the community. Without the community, there would be no Tesla. And they're standing with the product, even when the product has problems in the initial iterations. And the third one is Pioneer Capital. And we will go into this in the next video. So in this video, we start with number one. If we want to create the Tesla of health, we need a master plan to end death. A master plan to create the Tesla of health. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. I'm going to be very straightforward with you and tell you what that master plan is because I worked on this for quite a while and we have solved the problem, at least on the master plan level. So before I go into the master plan, we should you know, always remind ourselves, who has to do the master plan? It can't be an incumbent and it can't be a big healthcare company. For the same reasons, any large OEM or automaker could never have executed Tesla's master plan. It's the innovator's dilemma. These people have too much vested interest in the status quo. They will never disrupt themselves. So it needs to be a new company. It needs to be a startup. That is a no-brainer. So now let's jump into this mother of all questions. How do we end death? How do we create the future of medicine? 
and ending death, I will go into this a little bit higher resolution what that exactly means. So in order to end death, we have to understand where death comes from. And death right now comes from four chronic diseases. And these four chronic diseases kill 80% of Americans. So 80% of all US deaths come from these four things. Number one, cardiovascular, heart attacks, strokes, and so on. Number two, cancer. Only that cancer is actually the number one cause of death for people under 75, therefore the biggest problem in life expectancy because that is the number one killer when it actually counts to not die. Then we have metabolic and diabetes, uh, metabolic conditions, which is, looks less dramatic than cardiovascular and cancer. But I tell you, it might be the real problem behind everything. So it is a very important problem. And number four, the scariest one maybe, neurodegenerative Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and so on. A tremendous cost driver and a driver of human suffering that is awful. These are the big four chronic diseases that kill us. So our master plan has to focus on them because it's an 80-20 situation. You need to focus on them if you want to really move the needle and protect human life and extend life expectancy. These are your low-hanging fruits to stop death. Now, the number two paradigm, how do you stop them? And it's very simple. It is not what the entire healthcare industry is focused on and what all the spending goes into. It is not drugs. Drugs are a dead end for chronic diseases. Even though 95% of R&D spending, hundreds of billions is being spent on drugs because people think they can make more money. It's not solving the problem. The problem to these four chronic diseases is, you guessed it, universal prevention through early detection. In all instances, the key is detected early and defeated early. In cancer, survival rates go from, you know, under 10% survival to over 90% survival if you detect cancer at stage one or two instead of three and four. In cardiovascular, of course, if you make lifestyle changes, when your arteries get clogged up, close, you know, close to being getting clogged up, you can do much more than when you actually have a stroke. Metabolic, of course, you can take action before you're getting into this pre-diabetic or diabetic stage, and it's much easier to reverse any bad trend. And neurodegenerative, we know more and more it's a function of the other things, especially metabolic, right? So if you don't even get there, you are probably protecting yourself much better against Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So the future of medicine is universal prevention. I'm nearly done with my paradigms and principles. Just hold off and you will see the master plan coming quickly. This is how Elon did it in the Tesla master plan too. First, you address a bunch of paradigms and then you jump into the exact plan. Paradigm number three, data is always good. More data is always better in medicine. You want to test the hell out of everything. Now, most doctors actually disagree and they're wrong because in the future of medicine, number four, we have to build systems, not tests and systems maximize information. Then they maximize intelligence that is derived from that information and from existing medical knowledge. And then they maximize intelligent follow-up for the patient. That is what I call medical intelligence. It's not biotech or medical devices. Medical intelligence is the future of medicine. We need to see everything and act intelligently on everything. Data always wins. Medical intelligence is the key. These are paradigms number three and four. Okay. If we follow these paradigms, we can reduce premature deaths 80% and more. We can save millions of American lives fast in the first five years. We can end cancer. We can end cardiovascular disease. We can end diabetes, metabolic conditions, and we can end nearly all neurodegenerative diseases. And the effect of that will be that we defeat and end death under 95. We can push the human lifespan, the average lifespan to over 90 years, probably to 95 is my estimate. And by doing so, we can generate trillions of dollars in value, save hundreds of millions of people, and prepare ourselves for master plan of health, part two, part two, that actually then goes into true life extension. But before we get there, we need to execute this master plan. 
because before you go into life extension, you have to make sure you're not dying of these four diseases. So what is the master plan now that we know the context? Well, the master plan is very simple. It's a three-step plan similar to Tesla's. Number one, create a system of universal cancer screening for $399 a month. That is what we can do today. Make it an annual precision screening that detects all cancers at early stage. It costs $399 a month. By combining all precision medicine technologies that we have and focusing them on all organ systems. And by adding a medical intelligence system that makes sense of that and triangulates any cancer that exists. Number two, once you have done that, you will make a lot of money. You will make this money very quickly because people do not want to die of cancer and enough people can afford $399 a month out of pocket. You don't need insurance for this. Number two, very quickly, you use that money that you make to create a universal screening system annually, not just for cancer, but for all four diseases and reduce the price to $199 a month. So more people, many more people can now get that universal screening system and detect all four diseases early stage and end them. And then you use that money to create an accessible universal screening for all people for $99 a month or less, where at this point you can force the insurance to actually pay for it. And that happens once you have a million patients roughly for the second step. Okay, to recap, here's a simple master plan. Create a universal cancer screening system for $399 a month. Take that money to create a more affordable universal screening system for all four deadly diseases. And then use that money to bring down the price so much everyone can get it and the insurance can pay for it. And once you're there, you have extended the human lifespan to 95 years and can enter part two of the master plan that I'm not going to talk about now. Do you know how big that is if you do that? <laughs> this here is the biggest transformation we have seen in medicine since the invention of modern medicine back in Europe in the late 1800s. This is transformational. It will knock out cancer, knock out cardiovascular, metabolic diabetes, and neurodegenerative diseases. It will make them completely fringe. And it will give us more than 10 years life extension. All of us. And buy us enough time to come up with a second piece of the plan. We are creating a future here in that all medicine becomes preventative. A future in that we get annual, maybe even quarterly precision screenings to detect all causes of death before they become a problem and knock them out. A future where a medical intelligence system watches over us to intercept any kind of problem. A future in that detection and treatment will become one. You eliminate it once you see it. And a future in that late detection or late stage disease of any sort will become medical malpractice. It can't even happen anymore. And it will solve, of course, a healthcare cost problem as a side effect. And the crazy thing is we are already here. We have all these technologies basically ready. You don't even need foundational R&D anymore. It's all done, but it's not getting to patients. Once you're in this future, you're also leading straight to multiple uncapped S-curves if you're into investing in stocks. Same with Tesla, EVs, full self-driving, and then robots. EVs, you know, you can become a $2 trillion market cap company, probably $1.5 trillion. But with the FSD, you can become a $15 trillion market cap. And with humanoid robots, you have an uncapped potential. You can be unlimited because you can create unlimited value. Similar things are true here with the Tesla of health. Because cancer detection precision treatments are an enormous S-curve. That's a trillion dollars right there. All diseases and precision treatments, or all four, this is a $10 trillion market. And then finally, we didn't talk about this yet, but this is of course coming next. Life extension and immortality is an uncapped opportunity because how much money are people willing to pay to never die? A lot. Probably a third or something of all the money. Okay, so it seems pretty straightforward. This is all pretty simple to do and to understand. We have all the technologies, we have a master plan, create universal cancer detection, knock out cancer, bring down the price, create universal chronic disease detection, knock them all out. And number three, make it accessible to everyone with that money. So 
there is not a lack of clarity what needs to be done. The technological details are also very clear. The medical details are clear. The commercial details are clear. But we know from Tesla, even if everything would have been clear, they needed two more components on top of the master plan. Tesla needed a strong community to defend and stand by the master plan. And third, it needed Pioneer Capital. Someone had to fund Tesla in the beginning. Someone has to fund this system in the beginning. And without that, despite all the technology and despite all of us dying of that stuff, despite the solution being here and the problem being the biggest pain point of all, it's death. Despite it being solved and being so big of a pain point, it will never get solved if the three secrets don't come together. Without the community and without Pioneer Capital, this master plan is worthless. We will keep dying of cancer. We will keep seeing our loved ones die of cancer and of the other diseases. And while we have all the technology here, we will not be able to stop it if we don't get the two secrets right that are missing, the community and Pioneer Capital. So when, if we get them right, if we get these three things together, this is an unstoppable plan. It's completely unstoppable. And it will unlock something even bigger than Tesla. So in the next video, in the final video of this series in part three, we are going to look into the dark secret of Pioneer Capital. What is the real problem here? What about all these VCs, the venture capital people? Aren't they like there to fund these things? And we will dig deeper into that question and see what the really dark secret is behind the system. And we will find the solution and how we actually get out of it and solve it. So subscribe now to not miss out on this one. I hope to see you in the part three, the last part of the series of the Tesla of Health, the dark, dark secret of Pioneer Capital and how we overcome the problem. See you there.